Welcome to the Global Author Podcast. I'm Matt Connor Whiteley, science fiction, fantasy, and a global author, bringing you publishing, writing, book marketing, and a global author ideas for your book to help you sell more books and write better books. For more information and your free global author training, please go to theglobalauthor.com. And here's the show. Hi everyone and welcome to episode 81 of the Global Author Podcast and yes you did read that correctly this is the final episode of the podcast and it is Friday the 7th of January 2021 as I record this. So I've sort of been thinking about this for quite a while I sort of made the unofficial decision before Christmas 2021 and I was basically thinking I should stop this podcast and now I've actually decided yes I need to but I do just want to say up front though, I am not stopping in the blog at theglobalauthor.com forward slash blog. So the entire point of today's episode is to just like explain my reasoning behind it. This was not something that I just wanted to do. Something that I just woke up at doing like one day. This was basically a business decision for you know, like for me and the future of my company. When it actually becomes a company. <laughs> like in a, a few years that I'd be like oh you know oh, this was a decision for my author business that was this is actually going to teach you uh, a bit more about decision making in um, the author business and basically though this is just sort of me like excellent but before we move on to the personal update I just want to uh, stress this and I will repeat this later in the episode thank you all of you you have all been amazing listeners that come in here by like, each a week listening to the podcast learning and that is just amazing it is just so great to know that as I stand here in my little um, podcast audio booth, whether I know whether there are going to be amazing authors, amazing writers listening to this. So I cannot thank you enough. You guys have sustained me for a lot longer than I actually thought that I would do this a podcast for. So you are all amazing. You're all wonderful. And I cannot wish you the best enough that way. And I really hope for that all of you write so many books, write so many stories. And I would all love for you all to become like millionaires and like a six figure authors. But moving on to the personal update, I like had a wonderful Christmas. We were all like COVID safe and it was a great to see the family. And I also got some like great like Christmas presents in including um, a book for dummies on like a bookkeeping and um, financial um, records. And then I also brought another book about um, understanding business accounts that and even though that sounds like the strangest books to actually buy for Christmas, or actually ask for a Christmas that were, I don't know whether those books are actually going to be very useful in the future when it comes to my author business and when I actually incorporate in a few years. And I also just wanted to mention that after I recorded the podcast episodes for the Christmas and the New Year break, I was actually really pleased that I managed to write uh, um, another 15 uh, short stories in December. So my short story total last year was 120 short stories. Um, the, I think about 50 of them have been released. I'm going to publish some more like this month, uh, but then the rest are, are just like going through the markets and like other bits. And also though, um, 15 short stories I wrote in December, I'm putting on hold for a year because I'm actually going to use them in my holiday spectacular. <laughs> you know, or whatever I actually plan to recall it, but that's going to be a Kickstarter later in the year. Then I just need to write another 17 short stories around the holiday theme, so I really am like, looking forward to that. But in 2022, so far I started a new novella. Well, I mean, I call it a novella. So on the 2nd of January, I started the second book in my City of Assassins urban, uh, yeah, but like urban fantasy series. And that series I love because, at least from a writer perspective, because, because it's quite a fast-paced book, there's quite a lot of actions. There's, we have like, one of the PAOD characters is like an assassin. And um, there's actually quite a lot of like fighting and there's actually quite short, choppy chapters. I'm actually really starting to understand pacing on a more of a chapter level because simply because there have been quite a few short chapters. So I really am starting to understand that more. But I have to admit, I am actually a bit concerned about the like word length. But at the end of the day, I'm having fun. It's the best book that I can possibly write at this moment in a time. So I'm actually, yes, I'm actually like perfectly happy. And if it's 15,000 words, it's still a novella, it's still a major product, so I'm actually more than happy like with that. I think I should have that done in the next few days, and then I will 
I must probably write another novella or something that one. But I'm sure that I'll mention that in a in a blog post in the future. So as always, I always like love to hear your thoughts and feelings on today's episode. So you can always email me, conwiley, conwiley.net. You can always leave a comment or share us at theglobalauthor.com forward slash podcast. And you can always tweet me on Twitter at the Global Author. I always love to hear from all of you. And it really helps make the podcast feel more like a conversation. And today's episode has been sponsored by Your Author, a business plan by a giant pen. And the reason why this is a sponsor for the final episode is actually because this was a business plan decision. This was a decision for my author business. So but this absolutely great, brilliant, wonderful online course actually teaches you actually tells you about how to do a like, business plan and it actually tells you about running a author business like just so that you can learn and actually help yourself for, to run a successful author business so, so I cannot recommend it enough and of course because it's done by a giant pen it's a, a wonderful really easy to understand course that I cannot recommend enough and if you want to use my affiliate link so I get a small percentage of the sale well, as to no extra cost to you please go to theglobalauthor.com forward slash business plan I cannot recommend that, of course, enough. So, well, let's move on to the content part of today's episode. So, we're well, moving on to the content part of uh, today's episode. Uh, so, we're going to be talking about why I'm stopping podcasting for writers. So, this is going to be a very interesting uh, podcast episode for all of you, but it's also going to be quite, I don't know, well, but not heartbreaking, but quite sad for me to actually say this, though, uh, because, of course, I respect and I love all of you for actually, for actually going out of your way each or week to actually t- um, listen to me there. So I really am grateful for that. So time and return on investment. And this is the main reason why I'm actually stopping the podcast. And I need to explain this to you as you can learn from at this point. Therefore, I don't want to do the Global Author podcast anymore because it takes too long. As well as the time I spend on this podcast isn't getting me a good return on investment. Now, you all know that I talk about the long term, being patient and looking forward to the future. But there is a limit to that thinking because this podcast has been going for over 80 weeks and it isn't doing as well as I want. And with this going on for over 80 weeks, no one can say that I haven't tried. And that's the main point that when it comes to your author business, you need to try stuff. It's you know, like a stuff that we're like, you need to enjoy stuff, and you really have just got to try and do it for the long term because that's how you make money. You stick up with something that you enjoy and something that you love. So, in addition to the main point on return on investment and the time idea, is what else could I be using at this time for? Since my main problem with the Global Author podcast is simply the editing time, as I stutter, and even though I do a stutter, which as to the time compared to my editing time to other people, that's a very normal. But in terms of like hard numbers, it takes me around 20 to 30 minutes to record the podcast. Now that recording time, that does not bother me too much because I have recorded my psychology podcast at the same time, so that doesn't bother me. But the editing time is a real problem though because this comes directly out of a but my writing time and to the time I use it for of ag activities as well as the editing and uploading time it takes around 30 to 40 minutes so the way how this tends out to work is that I edit yes is that I tend to record both a podcast on a Friday or what happens is that I have a dedicated um, editing session for my psychology world podcast on Sunday morning but then Sunday night when I tend to do a bit more writing or when I tend to use it th- that time that's how when I tend to edit the uh, Global Author podcast. And at that time, it comes uh, directly out of, uh, out of uh, my writing time each week. So, so uh, you could say, why don't you just uh, create a more time for yourself? Uh, but then it's sort of like, well, I don't want to uh, because I've still got other stuff to do, uh, like um, spend time with family, go out and do other bits, like, etc. So uh, 30 to 40 minutes. Now, that does not sound like a lot, but considering the length of, of the episodes, it is a while. Also, well, I tend to write a thousand words in a half an hour, meaning each week I basically lose a, lose a thousand words of a, of a production that could earn me money for the life of, of a copyright. Of course, a thousand words does not sound like a lot, but 1,000 or, or more, to be honest, times 52 weeks, that's an extra 52,000 words for my author business if I didn't do this a podcast. Now, for most people, that's a novel, but for me, that's probably almost a two extra novellas a year, and that's a great. 
overall, well, what I'm saying is that when it comes to doing something in your author business, always have remembered the long-term focus, but you do need to ask yourself, would I be better off writing, which is also known as the Wibbo test. And in terms of the Global Author Podcast, I could definitely be better off writing and writing than creating and editing the podcast. The 20% rule. So this was like episode five or six of the podcast. But if you remember it, I talk about what's known as the 20% rule, which basically means every year you should look at to get rid of a 20% of what you do, just so you can make room for new things. And I didn't realise this before I made a decision on the podcast, but this is what I was doing. Since in 2022, I'm planning to write 12 novellas and and 120 short stories, and that's some other things. And I didn't know that I could easily do those things, I hope, with the podcast. But I'm bound to want to do other things as they work with. For example, whether it's writing something else, exploring a new business topic, or doing something else I can't completely then now the podcast becomes something of that as old and that could stop me from doing something new new in the future. Therefore, my point is to actively use the 20% rule in your author business to make sure that you have room in your schedule to take advantage of new things. Do what you love. So this is possibly the most heartbreaking, I would suppose, about this um, post because you all know I absolutely love, I truly love being an author. I love being an indie author, writing tons of fiction and non-fiction, publishing it and interacting with readers. But I don't love this podcast anymore. (laughs) And I'm being so honest here. And the reason why I'm being honest is because you wonderful people who uh, read my blog and actually listen to the podcast and deserve that. I love you all for taking the time out of your day to listen to me. And that is an honour. Because I know that you have better things to do. So uh, thank you. So my psychology podcast I love. Because every week I find something new to explore. Share and write about for my listeners. Therefore without that podcast I couldn't keep learning. So that's one of the reasons why I love it. However the global podcast isn't like that for me. I don't learn for the podcast. I learn for my writing, my author business and my future. Then I share my knowledge with you because I want you to succeed and to become the amazing authors that you can be. Yet sharing and wanting to help others sadly isn't enough for me to keep this podcast going. And I do want to use the podcast editing and the creation time to create new stories, new books and new pieces of intellectual property. As that is the key in uh, the author business, creating new pieces of uh, of IP uh, that can create you money uh, for the life of uh, of copyright. Of course, uh, you will still need to do some basic marketing and actually uh, get out of your own way and uh, publish s- stories, but you get the idea. Wrap up. So as I wrap up this podcast episode, I really do want to uh, thank you all uh, um, for listening to the uh, podcast. The uh, blog post uh, will still be over at theglobalauthor.com forward slash blog each week, but this is where the podcast ends, at least for now. As well as if you've taken anything from this uh, podcast episode, please let it be. Focus on the long term, create your pieces of IP and do well what you love and keep learning. And those four things are the most important in now the author business. So I really hope that you enjoyed this uh, final uh, podcast episode and I hope that you got something out of it. If you want to learn more about your author business and your author business plan, then please check out Your Author Business Plan by Joanna Penn. Available at theglobalauthors.com forward slash business plan. I cannot recommend that a great course enough. So thank you for listening and I truly, truly, truly wish you all the best of luck with your author journey. So have a great day everyone and have an amazing author life. Thanks for listening today. I hope you found it useful. For more information, please go to theglobalauthor.com. And if you want to connect, then please reach out to me on Twitter at The Global Author. And you can find me on Facebook. For your free and exclusive Global Author video training, please go to theglobalauthor.com forward slash free. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you next time.